Okay, today we have a MacBook that uh, was sent to us and was stated that it could possibly have a graphics chip problem. Uh, it was an intermittent issue, so what we're going to do is turn it on and see what we find. Uh, we're here to drive. We see the backlight. And we see the Apple. So, this must be a after heat up uh issue so what we're going to do is let this system uh boot up and see what happens uh sometimes upon boot up we'll get different errors uh our user stating that it goes into safe mode so let me put this paper up and check it says, we'll usually boot almost always in safe mode. With time, you get strange graphic artifacts, and then it freezes up. So, what we're going to do is let it boot and see if it'll lock up. If it's a fairly common issue, then we'll see it happen. Now, with these systems, they have the NVIDIA chips in them. We know that that is a common chip to fail. Uh, the same chip that was used in the uh, DV9000s is also the one that's used in the MacBook Pros. So we know that this uh, controller chip does have issues. Now the newer uh, MacBooks use the MCP Uni chip, which is the same exact uh, chip that was used in later model uh, DV. Um, 9,000, 6,000, uh, and also what's used in uh, the CQ60s and CQ50s. So we know that it's a newer design chip that's used in the newer Macs, uh, but the older style Macs use the same exact chip that's um, seen in the DV9000s. So what we're doing is uh, letting this one start up. Uh, it doesn't appear that it's going much of anywhere. Uh, there are no lines or anything like that. But it does appear to be locked up. So, what we're going to do is take this system apart, put it on the reflow machine, reflow it, and then uh, go from there and see what happens. Alright, so we're reflowing the system here, and... Um, We'll let it get done doing what it's doing, and then we'll take it back over and put it with the rest of the stuff and check it and see what's going on. But we're actually uh, letting it do what it's doing, and then um, we'll check it out and go from there. Alright, so we're letting this board cool down now. It's sitting and uh, it's going through the cooling process. We'll move this thermostat wire out of the way. Um, but surprisingly enough, as I was looking at this, I was talking earlier about how some of the boards have the same chips as the DB9000s, and uh, the new boards have the MCP chips, which they do. Uh, we have a new unibody board here, and it's got this NVIDIA MCP79 chip on it. So we know that they do, but it appears that this uh, board itself actually has a ATI chipset on it so what happens is um, some have the NVIDIA and some have the ATI chipsets but before I get people commenting and dinging on me I thought I'd bring that up and point that out so anyways we'll let this cool down and then we'll go from there and test it out and see what we find so we've got the laptop rebuilt and what we're going to do is turn it on and we get the light in the front signifying that it's getting power. We got a chime. So let's see what we find out of it. And this is after our reflow and after we've reapplied our thermal compounds and uh, this is just first boot. So this is where it hung earlier and it would just sit but before there was no cursor so now we have a um, we have a cursor and we have a system boot and it appears that yes we have uh, time and date 
from taking the CMOS battery off. So we have a completely booted system and everything's up and running. So we're going to call this one complete. We'll let it run for a little while just to make sure that the burning happens. And then from there we'll box it up and send it out. So we know that it's done and everything's good on it.